Hi guys, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be doing the next episode of my New Leaf kind of playthrough thing. Um, so, just so you guys kind of know my aim with this series is it's not going to be to show you every single moment I play this game. The, the point of this is... Oh, wait, Isabel, what? My approval rating. Okay, yeah, cool. No worries. Uh, you kind of just spoiled what I was going to say to the audience, but that's fine. So, <laughs> um, what I actually want this series to be is I want it to be a kind of comparing the differences in a more playthrough style. So I won't show you every waking moment of this game, but what I will show you is things like changing the town tune, building a house, moving furniture around, all the fun little mechanics that... And, and all the charm as well. So ever since episode one, uh, I have actually done quite a bit on the island. So what I'm working on at the moment, I'm just working on getting my town approval rating up. And that is something that Isabel sets. You have to get it up to 100%. So let, if I come speak to her now, she'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So development permit. Now the development permit acts as... It's basically the right to do public works projects. So I'm at 58% and what she'll do is she kind of just gives you advice until you um, hit 100% basically. So she keeps telling me to sell some stuff at the recycling shop. Um, I think what I actually need to do is put something up for display. So I'm actually going to show you retail and what it looks like. And if you don't know, Reese and Cyrus, who were in the wedding event, are actually the owners of retail. So it's going to be really, really fun to show you guys who maybe haven't even seen them before. Uh, right, let me... Oh, and also, wait, have I got someone extra? Hold on. Oh, okay, yeah. So since the last episode as well, we had Cat move in and we also had Chops move in. So... Unfortunately, I'm not a huge fan of my villagers, but this doesn't work like New Horizons. I can't just go to an island and find someone I want. Um, and I quite like that about New Leaf because you can literally just like, you just almost can't even care because whoever's going to live on your town is going to live in your town. Um, I don't mind Mint and Cat though. They're all right. So this is retail. I don't know if I actually have any furniture on me to give to them, but we'll see. Who knows? Okay, so retail. This is, oh, okay, so we actually have some things up for auction currently. So villagers and you and other players are in the town uh, that actually live there. I don't think visitors can do this. But what you can do is you can get an item of furniture. So, okay, I'll get my tabletop game. I actually kind of wanted that. But look, I'm just going to say, hey, I want to put something here and then hope a villager buys it. Uh, and then when you next go in, Reese basically says to you, hey, you sold something, I'm pretty sure. So you actually set the price. Um, this was in my one of my OG Animal Crossing videos, but you never want to set the bar too high. So I'm going to put it at 2,000 bells. Um, it, it always gives you a recommended price, but honestly, that is way worth, like, that's worth way more than 620 bells. But then, for example, if I were to come over here and I was like, oh. That looks really cool. So that belongs to Min, and I'm just going to take it. So cool. So now that is mine. Uh, RIP. Oh, look, here she is. Oh. It's sad to think about other people trading in their memories for a few bells. Ah. 100%. <laughs> um, so that is basically a short rundown of what retail is. It has better selling prices, so it encourages you to sell stuff there. Wait, who's moving in? Oh, Clay! Oh my goodness, Clay's moving in. Clay's got his own, like, area. Um, we've also got some weeds, so I need to pluck those. Oh, look, it's the path. <laughs> Uh, okay, so another thing that I actually changed up is the, uh, well, my house, really, first of all, because, oh, and my cherry trees grew. Oh, that's so fun. I planted all of these trees here. Similarly, in, like, New Horizons, you end up with kind of a bare town, so you really have to, like, keep it going. 
Um, oh, my home. Okay. So my home is a mess at the minute. This cost me 10,000 bells. The next house upgrade is 39,800, I believe. So that's kind of what I'm working towards at the moment. But realistically, I'm not in any rush. I mean... <laughs> Uh, so I've got basically an electric chair. I've got a Mario uh, go kart. I've got an an air wing. I think that's what it's called. I've got a kitty wardrobe and then a love seat. Um, so and um, Isabel gives you a paw print wall. The Nintendo furniture is from Nook's Cranny. I'm just gonna cram this in here. Great. So now we can't even come in. I could put it all in that wardrobe, but. I just, I'll, I'll sort that out another time. Um, so I'm going to show you what fortune cookies were. And for those of you that haven't played New Leaf, which is, I'm assuming, probably a lot of you guys that are watching this, fortune cookies were obtained by getting play coins. And the 3DS had a pedometer in it, so it would track your actual real life steps and it would reward you with play coins. So you would then use these play coins in games. Oh, look at Min. You would use, ooh, oh my gosh, I'm getting leaf. Yes, I'm getting leaf. Yes, yes, yes. So our favorite friend or one of our favorite friends in New Horizons is leaf who comes and sells us the shrubs and the bushes. Well, I'm now getting his little, his little hut, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. So yeah, in Nooks, you then take a fortune cookie and you just, oh, what is that? Okay, I actually like both of these. This is a dice. Wait, what is it? A dice stereo. You just don't, you just don't get that anymore. And then what is this? A minimalist bed. That pillow is way too small. I would never ever sleep on that, but... What I tend to do, and um, I haven't done it in New Horizons, but in every other Animal Crossing game, I just buy everything in the shop um, so that I have it, I guess, and then I kind of get rid of stuff as and when I need to. Uh, okay, so... Fortune cookies, how fun! So, you won't always get a prize from these fortune cookies. Um, but look, I've got, how cool is this? This is one of the things I got from it, Midna's, um, uh, like hat mask thing. What else did I get? Uh, a dapper tea, bubble tank, a beak. Okay, no, I definitely didn't get that. So now I'm going to open up my fortune cookie. So it always has a message. Sometimes a sword is just a sword and sometimes it's a pretty girl. Ooh, okay. All right. And now you basically go up to little Tommy here and notice how it's only one of them in the shop each day. They actually have days off in New Leaf. So you give them the ticket. Here we go. Congratulations. A fee mask. Wait, is that a Legend of Zelda thing? There's quite a few items ranging from well, all sorts of Nintendo games. Obviously, the main ones get the most stuff. <gasps> oh my gosh. Why is that literally the most terrifying thing I've ever seen? But honestly, I'm living for it. Uh, the other thing that I had was a Pikmin hat, which was amazing. You could just really... You can also get a... Actually, yeah. You can also get a full suit of armor. Um, like Samus armor. So I always check Abel's every single day, see what they've got, because they get their clothing section and the accessory section. So that's cool. What have they got? It's usually hideous. And once again, we have to come talk to this old lassie who says, mm, I'm a bit busy now, soz. Oh, I'm kind of feeling the... I mean, th I mean, this this hat is just not on brand at all. <laughs> it's one of those things though like the game and what you answer determines your you know your look and you don't always get good stuff straight away so you just have to kind of work with what you've got and I think customization is a really really good thing but at the same time I also feel like it's nice to just have to put up with stuff um so what I'm now gonna do oh in fact I'm also gonna look in the shop as well so this is Nook's Homes, and I don't know if I showed you this in the previous episode, but this is where you buy all of your exterior stuff. 
Oh my goodness, look at it. Yes, my house has now been built. Yeah, 39,800 bells. And uh, yeah, you just make uh, payments into the ABD. So, oh, the spiel about the HHA. Ugh. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. The um, Happy Home Showcase is actually really, really cool. And again, it worked with how much you moved with your DS because then you'd come across other players. You could go into their house and you could buy their furniture. Like you could order their furniture, not like buy it directly from them. But that was really, really cool, especially for like rare furniture. Um, I was really, really into that. So this is a... I don't know if I want that actually. Cool, okay. <laughs> My character looks ridiculous, but I low-key, like, I low-key love it. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to jump forwards, show you Leaf's shop, I guess. And then I'm going to show you the museum. So, yeah, I will say hello to you in two seconds. Okay, guys. Uh, oh, oh! Today is the bug off. <gasps> so fun. What did I get? Uh, HHA showcase. Go away. I'm not interested. Uh, okay. So what we are now going to go have a look at is we're going to go look at Leaf's shop, which is really exciting. I'm going to show you the museum. Hey, I recognize you. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> Yay! Some of you will, probably all of you will recognize this from New Horizons, which is cool. Okay, not a full leaf clover, no worries. Uh, I can't really remember what leaf's shop looks like, to be honest. Uh, look! Look at leaf's shop! I'm gonna have to take, I'm gonna have to do a thumbnail. But I literally, I can't look like this. Okay. <laughs> I look scary. Look, look how cute this is. Let's go pay him a visit. I do, I've always loved Leaf. That's why I was really excited for him to return in New Horizons. Look. So, oh, yes, indeed. No worries. Okay, so yeah, what you can buy is two packs of flowers. You can buy a tree and an axe. I don't actually need any of that right now, so I'm going to leave that. And I am going to show you the museum. Um, and then I might do the bug off as well. So, oh, uh, oh, guys. Okay, so the other day when I was playing, I... Okay, guys, the other day I had uh, Katrina, who is the fortune teller. If you, she tells you a f like your fortune and basically says like, um, oh, th this is what you need in your future to be lucky. And if you don't get that item, I'm pretty sure that means you get bad luck, which is why when I'm running, I'm tripping, which I literally hate so much. Oh, there's a guitar. I haven't got a fishing rod yet, so I'm going to actually grab one of those. I'll take it. Yes, I know how to use it. I'm good. That guitar is kind of cool. I don't really have much pocket space right now, so I'm not going to buy anything else. Um, I will go back for the fortune cookie at one point, but not now. So I know this episode is going to be a little bit longer, but I just want to show you guys the museum and how it was laid out uh, because this going from like Wild World and City Folk to New Leaf, the museum just it was just so wonderful. So here we go. Here is the entrance. Here's me and Blathers, who is, of course, always asleep. We've got the stained glass here. We've got like an old grandfather clock. So let's go through to the dinosaur bit first, where you donate your fossils. I haven't donated. Oh, well, I've only donated one. So this is what it looked like. It was fairly basic. Um, probably my least favorite area in this museum. There just wasn't really much 
going on. It was it was very 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 basic. Um, but but to be honest, they they all are a little basic. Uh, okay, so this is where you get like your ammonites and your dinosaur foot and dinosaur poop and whatever else goes there. Um, ba 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 ba. Got a picture there. I have no idea why. <laughs> So, yeah, that's basically, this is basically the, the dinosaur bit. Uh, very, very, very basic. I feel like this was probably an afterthought, if I'm honest, compared to the other areas. Although I haven't actually donated any fish yet, so I can't remember what the fishing area looks like. Oh, well, actually, I, maybe I can a little bit. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have a look. Okay, so the butterfly room, the butterfly room, it's not, it's a, I mean it is, but uh, this was the bug area, so it was very, very interactive, um, look at this little like mural, 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 I don't know, on the wall, um, obviously the more you give, the more stuff shows up, so it's very, very bland at the minute, I've barely done anything, uh, yeah, <laughs> Here we go, here is where all the rare beetles go. So like your Goliath beetles, Hercules beetles, stuff like that really. Uh, this is a Rafflesia, which you get when you time travel too much. So we're gonna avoid that, that's not what I'm wanting. Okay, and then we've just got this section here notice the path <laughs> uh okay and then we'll come out of this area and we will go see the fish and then obviously we've got the paintings here which I don't think I've ever, ever completed in any Animal Crossing game. So, yeah, this was probably my... Oh, yeah, it's all coming back to me now. This is probably my favourite area in the museum. It felt kind of modern at the time, whereas the other areas still felt kind of bland. But I really, really liked the fishing... Or the fish area, I guess. Um, come on. I, like this bit here is so beautiful um i i just love i mean especially when it comes alive it looks amazing you can sit here with your friends and then i think we've just got all like the pond and river things here yeah so very 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 cute um i'll run around the painting bit but honestly it's not my favorite like at all yeah, so this is the art bit. Uh, to be honest, this balls me to no end. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't know. I guess part of the reason I, the, well, the thing is, is the whole conundrum with the paintings is that like, I felt like back then I didn't really realize you could Google any of this stuff, but this is kind of like, it just reminds me of like an old function room at like a town hall that like smells. So, <laughs> But yeah, you get all the paintings up here and then you get the sculptures and statues and all sorts. Um, but yeah. So, uh, one more thing. I just want to make sure this episode isn't too long. Okay, it's going to be very long. Um, okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys the bug off. Um, I won't be actually doing it. I just kind of want to show you what the setup is within the plaza. Okay, let's run down here and just to remind you guys if you don't know, oh my gosh, I just, it's so annoying. I just, I just, ugh, I just hate falling over. Sorry, I'll just walk very slowly everywhere and make this video even longer. Uh, okay, so here is the bug off tent. Oh my gosh, look at Kat, she's so funny. But yeah, how cute. So this is Nat. So I'll just go through the rules with you guys, just so you know, because it is different to New Horizons. 
yeah so like rarity size and the ones that he loves so obviously if you get a big butterfly that's going to be better than like a cicada or something like that da, 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 da. and then at the end of the day they basically announce who the winner is so let's just go inside have a quick nosy round and then and then that's probably going to be the end of the episode. So this is what it looks like. And it's so funny because like at the end, you all stand on here, like depending on what rank you got. Uh, th this is kind of what me and Bobby mean when we talk about charm in the game. You know, adding lots of personality, making it really realistic. That's that's kind of important to us. So hi, cat. I've not actually spoken to her yet. Yay, she's all right. She looks like she's wearing a Coca-Cola t-shirt literally dead as a doornail okay guys so that's been it for kind of episode two of running around new leaf showing you guys what's up i hope you really really enjoyed it i believe this is going to be going up on a saturday so happy saturday to you all and i will see you in my next video bye